All right, guys, welcome to the Vitality Handbook. This is where we take a multi-dimensional approach on how to figure out making you the most vital person possible. How do we optimize that vitality for you? Now, today we're gonna to talk about sleep. Now, this is the second pillar of our five-pillar system, DTS Vitality Training Systems. Sleep is very important. Why is it that we sleep? What does that fix for us as far as energy uh, preservation, as far as managing your energy, getting more energy? Uh, are there some myths in there? Let's really take a deeper dive to see what sleep is all about. So Nick, I'm gonna pass it to you. We have three main steps to mastering your sleep hygiene, what we call retraining your sleep patterns. The first one is going to be sleep protocol, I'm sorry, the first one is gonna be sleep hygiene. Is your sleep high quality? That means you have high quality hygiene, or is it low quality? Meaning you have low quality hygiene. Do you wake up, first thing I need is a cup of coffee. Do you wake up well rested and you're ready to go? That's an easy test you can take to see if you have poor quality or good quality. So that's the first thing, sleep quality. Second thing is gonna be preparation. How well do you prepare, right? When do you start your preparation for sleep? Do you need to prepare yourself? And the third thing is gonna be our protocol. That is your program. What do we follow to get that great night's sleep? All right, Nick, so take it away. Yeah, so. When I first met you, you were, you gave me a, a red flag immediately. <laughs> like, uh, you know, if you think about, yeah, I'm thinking about soccer. Th throwing a red flag, <laughs> throwing a red flag, take it, take it. Red card, red card, red card. <laughs> <laughs> and you love soccer. Yeah, he loves soccer. He loves soccer. He loves yeah, soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Basically, sleep quality is important. Like, I think right. uh, taking what you said, talking about sleep quality is like, Definitely putting that red card up right. immediately when you met me, like, yeah. listen, your sleep quality is terrible. <laughs> There's a lot of things that are gonna come bad right. out of this. I didn't listen mm -hmm. and terrible things happened. But I wanna like right. expand on like sleep quality uh -huh. for the community and for ourselves. Um, to summarize it, it was just basically, uh, I had to do a lot of work on sleep quality, so I started reading on sleep and what I came across was uh, Matt Walker, uh, a sleep expert. Um, his, he has TED Talks, he has a great book called Why We Sleep. And so I want to just kind of think of the three parts that stood out to me the most in prepping for talking about sleep, which was debunking certain myths or adding more clarity to sleep quality. How can you actually improve your sleep quality? So why I want to double down on sleep quality is because we have to be able to convince clients who say, I don't need any sleep. Okay. But we see how it's affecting their performance. We see how it's affecting the results. We have to be able to persuade them and counter their arguments. They may say, I can catch up on sleep, which is the first myth. They may say, I don't need to sleep because I can catch up on one day and get sleep. So Matt Walker go, go ahead, goes ahead and debunks that. You actually can't catch up on REM sleep. Okay. And that's the important. So the reason you can't catch up on sleep is because you, there's no way that if you don't sleep every day, your eight hours, you have good sleep quality every day. Mm -hmm. You have good sleep hygiene every day. Mm -hmm. If without good sleep hygiene every day, you don't get REM sleep. And there is no, you can't go Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday with terrible sleep hygiene, meaning you missed out on REM sleep, mm -hmm. and then think on Sunday or you're gonna catch up on all those days right. of missed REM sleep. And the REM sleep is, and the reason I mentioned REM sleep because that's the most important, okay. or I believe is the most important, okay. right? Which gets into the second point. Right. The first point is about the debunking the myth of not being able to catch up on sleep. The second point is the importance of REM sleep. Okay. REM sleep allows you to integrate your sensory, auditory, and your kinesthetic experience. And I know it sounds super science-y, science um, but you can break that down further if you right. want. Um, it allows you to integrate it into, into your performance or your, right. or your livelihood. Right. Um, and we can definitely talk about the benefits of that later, for okay. sure, uh, what it means to the community, what it means to you guys. Um, and the third part is what you mentioned earlier. I think about waking up. If you're waking up sleepy, that's a... I like... I like that's a red car. I like... Exactly. <laughs> Are there even red flags in, in football? No, in, in, in hold on, soccer, hold on. there's cars. Hold on, but, hold on, but are there red flags in like football? Oh, yellow. The yellow I know, right? Oh, yeah, instant replay is red flag. Oh, yeah, instant replay is red flag. <laughs> so, penalty is yellow. It's the yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. You, you saved me. You saved me. <laughs> this is what happens when you like, when you like soccer. You get it? Okay. All right, so you, what you mentioned was actually key in this lesson. Uh, I'm going to say that was a great point to simplify. It's like if you're waking up sleepy, that's a sign that you need to work on your sleep pillar. There's 
that's all the convincing you technically need. Because right. you, you care about your clients or you care about your own energy. Right. If, they're wake, if you're waking up sleepy, your client's waking up sleepy. Right. Think about it, you're waking up sleepy. Right. And the third point is caffeine. And the caffeine is super simple, right? Caffeine just blocks your ability to sense sleepiness. Okay. That's another point Matt Walker goes into. Let me keep it simple. Caffeine just blocks your ability to feel sleepy. Okay. Say that again. Blocks your ability to feel sleepy. Do you understand this? Yeah, go ahead and run. That's almost like a hmm, drug. That's what drugs do. They stop your ability for the true functionality of your body. Your body has a sensory adenosine, right? As that goes up, you're sleeping, you're sleeping, you're sleeping. Then it rises naturally. Caffeine comes in, blocks it. So it blocks your ability to sense that you're sleeping. So then once you don't have that caffeine, what, what, what happens? What happens? Uh, oh, you crash basically. Crash. Yeah. <laughs> I, like the, I like the word. You, I like the word you used earlier when we were talking, which was uh, fried. Oh, fried. Oh, fried. Fried. Yeah. 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 Fried. Yes. yes. No energy at all. All right. So Nick, basically, what you were saying there's three points that you picked out from Matt Walker, Walker's book that's going to help us. Right. It was about understanding the importance of sleep quality. My personal experience with Matt Walker, top sleep expert and the book, Why We Sleep, and the three points that stood out to me as far as helping how I would use that information for myself and for clients. The top three were debunking the ability to catch up on sleep. Right. Second one was the importance of REM sleep, mm -hmm. how that allows us to integrate all our experiences, and I think that really gives you a quote-unquote competitive advantage. Right. Quote-unquote competitive advantage. Right. And the third part is what, is what caffeine does, is uh, it actually, uh, as far as sleep, sleep goes. Right. Number one, it can, it can actually drastically impact your sleep quality uh -huh. in a negative way. And also, it actually just, um, even though you may feel a sense of more energy, it really just blocks your body's ability to, to feel sleepy. Right. The reason I mention all that is because, again, you started out talking about the importance of sleep quality. Right. And what happens when you don't have sleep quality at the end of the day, obviously, you're gonna, if you're, it's a signal that you're waking up sleepy right. versus waking up rested. Right. Okay? And this is off camera, but waking right. up with morning wood. No, no right. I'm joking. Uh, yeah. But also, on top of that is waking up with energy. Waking up with energy. I think right. last time we spoke about, or this was, I think during the trailer, we were right. just like, everything does come down to like energy. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, managing the energy is what it comes down to. So that's a great take on that. So now we're gonna pass it to Dre. From those three components of how we're going to make sure we have a good quality of sleep, right? From assessing your sleep, making sure that you do have an assessment for yourself, see if your quality of sleep is poor or if it's good, and then going into your preparation, how do you prepare yourself? What is your routine? And then having an actual protocol, make that routine and follow through with it. What would you do? What would you say as far as uh, the importance of sleep quality and one of those three? What, what would you uh, elaborate on? I want to elaborate on the uh, the programming, like right? The programming. So for me, uh, I know um, no, first number one, I do my RHM, okay. right? Restorative human movement pattern. My RHM, right? The lacrosse ball, the form roller, all those things. That's one thing I do. I'm just giving y'all my experience of what right. I do, right? Hip flexor, I hit the hip flexor, the peg, the shoulder, all that stuff, make right? You loose. Looser, yes, right. definitely. It's just my, my, where I relax, where I just like, okay, I know I'm getting ready for bed. I'm getting, you know, winding down. That's my winding down, right? So that's basically what I do. Um, that's my real routine, right? Um, then I would say, uh, make sure I try to have at least, I don't want too much water, but I try to have at least eight ounces of water because okay. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night, which, right, would disrupt your sleep, right? right? So, being yeah, being dehydrated, dehydrated right. now, dehydration now, waking up in the morning, feeling like crap, go use the, go use the restroom, right. tell me what you see. Right. And if it's dark, then obviously you're dehydrated. Right. And a lot speaking of, time, of your, speaking of your, yeah, <laughs> that's another Take assessment. That's, yeah, a, that's, that's, that's a coaching lens right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So wake up in the morning, do that. See, oh damn, I'm did. Even use, you know, the number, the number two, the same right, thing. Right, all right, those right, things. Right. It'll tell you, right? Um, well, we'll uh, we will rewind back. Uh, basically, I'll do that. Um, eating is a little tricky for me. I know these guys are very self-disciplined, so we. So everyone is everyone is different, right? So, but I know, but I know, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm gonna hold myself accountable. Right, so if I have something bad before bed, or I know I'm not supposed to be eating, right. and I know I'm eating, and I'm saying, right. man, I'm gonna make my stomach gonna be bloated, my stomach, right. my energy gonna be, yeah. you know, down. So right. uh, that, and I would say, 
I would go to uh, eating, the hydration, uh, my RHM, um, and I would say I'm, I'm, uh, I would go with having what what puts me to sleep easier would be uh, putting my daughter to sleep, right? I know that's going to put me to sleep. You know, I know that. So 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 that's one that helps me fall asleep. The stress, having the stress of De- right. my baby's now Yes, exactly, bed. right? So we, we, we're going to touch on that. Right now, another one um, that I will go with to help better quality sleep is please do not look up stuff on the internet uh, that's going to stress you out watching you know, horror movies, or if you're scared of horror movies, right? Stuff that like right. makes your heart race, you know, stimulating, uh, stimulating right? Stimulating. So um, I would say that uh, can help with a great quality of sleep. Um, uh, and y'all could touch up and break that down a lot more. Yeah. Um, magnesium and zinc can kind of help you, you know, nutrition, sleep. Nutrition, nutrition, yep, yep, so that as well. Um, I would go, those, those are my, my, that's my program. That's my program. Perfect, so circling through, we have the program, and it's really important for you to have that protocol, right? So that will kind of be the final step of what we would think. So to start off with, first you have to understand why you need to sleep. You have to buy into that having great sleep quality. Now, this might be an issue. Maybe you're one of those people that burns the midnight oil every night. You're going to have to pay for that. So, like he said, Matthew Walker, this is not just us talking. This is a true scientific thought that has been put through experimentation over and over again and has gotten the same results. Yeah. Therefore, it is a scientific fact. Matthew Walker, why do we sleep? He's recognized as the top sleep expert. Don't believe us? Do your research. Okay, so he says that you have to have a sleep quality assessment. Know where you're at. Now, if you're poor and you wake up unrested or you have interrupted sleep, you wake up six times, you're also breaking up how well you get into what? REM sleep. So when you talk about that rapid eye movement, it's very important because if you don't get into that REM sleep, that's when you do what? You store memory. Memory of movement, memory of what you heard through that day, memory of what you saw through that day. So he said your sight, your visual, your auditory, all those things play a role. So I'll tell you, so. I, I think Nick wanted to kind of touch up on this subject uh, with the REM, right? One, so for me, I remember one time calling Nick Right, I'm, and I'm like, man, I got the best sleep ever. Right, man, I feel good. Right, uh, so I got in a room sleep. So I'm talking to Nick. I'm like, man, everything seems bright. The lights are brighter. Like I don't, I'm my my, my brain isn't foggy anymore. Like I'm on point. Like I'm clicking with my clients. I'm coaching them. My workouts are beautiful. And that's a and that's one of the reasons why you want to get room sleep, quality sleep. You're sharp, right? You want to be your mind want to be sharp. Your face look younger. All of those things, right? All those things. But I'll. You know, passing on. Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're doubly down on the sleep quality, not only for ourselves as high performers. Right. Yeah, high performers right. um, so, we, you know, we're stressing the importance of sleep quality for ourselves because for me, definitely was an uh, issue. Yeah. But shout out to the OG for. <laughs> yes, I'll tell. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I used to, I remember one time this is, but this is our experience, right? Me and Nick, I'm like, Nick, you need sleep. No, you don't need no sleep, man. You, you know what? I'm going to just let him go. But now we got this guy. Right? That's really, they're just, just saying, listen, Nick, this is why. More, I'm more of the like, I'm, I'm, more of the, I'm, I'm more of the like, you know what, you're gonna learn on your own, but. See, that's what, that's actually what happened, that's the truth be told, yeah, right? He said yeah. he needs sleep, it was like, I'm terminated, no need. Yeah. I say he needs sleep, this is why I, I don't need it. His body always wins. Mm-hmm. Your body will tell you through breaking out, through it. bad oh, bowel movement, yes. through uh, indigestion, through yes. heartburn, through yeah. having depression, energy. all of the low energy, those are all negative aspects. Feeling older. Signals. Feeling so those are all, neg- I like that, those are all negative signals telling you, hey, there's something in your body that needs to process all of this energy, and sleep helps you process. Let me get this clear. Whatever you eat, whatever you think about, right, through the day, your body has to process that and store it. This is going to be stored as memory. That's trash. Let's get rid of it. That stress that you carried out with your kids, with your family, the fight that you had, yes. if you go into REM sleep, you can play that out. This is what Matt Walker, White Walker is talking about. You have to be able to compartmentalize what you did for the day. You see what I'm saying? So, if you have great night sleep, you're getting into REM. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, one second.
Don't worry, come on. Go ahead. Hey, let's, 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 let's Just don't touch the camera. <laughs> just don't touch the camera. Special so guest with the with the with gate. With the, with the bottle of wine for his date. <laughs> Hey, that, that can mess up your sleep. <laughs> Poor bed. Why? Go ahead. <laughs> so, so again, everything that you're processing throughout the day, this is the main thing that I've got through uh, Matthew Walker's book, Why You Sleep. And you can read it yourself in the article, and you actually determine what you get out of it as well. But one thing that remains the same that he has proven, right? It is a myth that you can catch up on sleep. Every day you have the responsibility to heal and destroy your body, that means you have to sleep every night to have that great wake up in the morning. All right, guys, you know what I'm talking about. When you wake in the morning, are you filled with vigor and vitality? I'm, I'm so happy he said that. I was <laughs> going to say that. This is but this is the truth. This is the truth. This is. As we get older as men, certain yeah. things don't work the way we want it to all the time. That we need outside things, outside drugs and medicines to kind of get us to have that. Figure of vitality. So that's okay. something that you naturally okay. have. Hold on, let's go about this. I want to let's get into it. Yes, let's get into it. Let's listen to something about that. That has to be on this episode. Yes. Go ahead. Eat right for your body type. Eat right for your body type. The, you know, the many definitions of vitality. Do you want to run with that or you? I nah, definitely want to say something. Just, nah, so, so what we're getting to now is okay, go ahead, Nick. Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, based on what you said. Yes. <laughs> Some people define vitality that way. I know when I went to Ghana, they definitely push vitality. Like that. We have our own definition. That's coming up soon. But the fountain of youth is really, I mean, if you're not getting sleep, yeah. I mean, okay. think about this yeah. fountain. Your, 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 your idea of anti-aging or, yeah. or the fountain of youth, throw it out the window. Ain't no way you're going to, you yeah. can't make, you can't fake sleep. Also, too, fountain of youth, of course, is sleep. But it's everything we're going to be talking about, guys. Food, healthy foods. Hydration, all those things, right? I'm going to sound like a broken record. I don't care, right? Uh, healthy foods, hydration, and uh, exercise, exercise, recovery. and sleep, recovery, right? If I go in and do it, now we get, now you know what? Now we get too deep, but let's go ahead. Let's no, go. There's let's. No such thing. Okay. I think, I, yeah, I think what Drew was trying to say is that there's different, you know, for each pillar that we have in right. the VTS system mindset, sleep, nutrition, physical recovery, and exercise. Right. If, if we look at if we look at the sleep, those all help. Yes. <laughs> all those yeah, all yes. yes. And, all and, those and, and, and all, the, all of those. And, and, yes. and, what, and what we want to have, we want to beat down. We want to beat down every single time. We're giving you the nuggets here. Is it all starts with vitality? Yeah. Having the, the the wherewithal to not just exist and survive. You want to thrive. Now, if you want to thrive, you need vitality. The best way we can define that is making sure that you have a pillar system that optimizes your peak vitality. And that way is mindset, sleep, nutrition, physical recovery, and exercise. Yes. But we have that in orders of operation. We believe that it starts with your mindset. If you don't have that mindset, check out our last video, Three Steps to Master Your Mindset, and we go into detail on that. The next is sleep, right? So if you have great nutrition, but you don't sleep, you're out of there. If you exercise, and you don't recover by sleeping, you're out of it. If all you do is stretch, but you still don't get rid of those neurotoxins that are in your body that's built up so from sense. memory, from stress, that's sleep. So understand the science. This is not pseudoscience. This is real science in laboratories through Cambridge, Stanford, Matthew Walker. Again, check them out. That's what we're talking about. So it's not only sleep. It's an interdependent components of five separate pillars, and those five pillars of BTS is what we're talking about. The inter interdependent advantage. Interdependent advantage. That's just, are we getting too much? No. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna wrap this up. So we always wrap this up with a little bit of rapid fire. Okay. So the rapid fire is how do we bring this into the community? Yeah. We're doing this not just to posture and say, hey, look at us, we're talking, is that we want to offer and serve the community. That's why we need your interchange of comments, liking, sharing, subscribing. So when we say this, it's not just to say we want you guys to do it. Please do that. But let's get rapid fire. Why do you sleep and what would you give uh, a client or what would you give your, a person, what would you give yourself if we had one to two minutes? Why do we need to sleep? What are the effects of it? How does it help us? The first thing I'm think is why was I so stubborn and not thinking <laughs> sleep was important? 
So I guess the first thing I would go is uh, understanding why we sleep. I think you could, like really understanding, and not just like trying to be finessing it because yeah. that's a book title. Yeah. But literally understanding like why we sleep. Right. Everything's gonna improve. Everything. Okay. Everything will improve. Okay. How can I what, understand that? What do you recommend for me? No, I'm saying just from the mindset perspective. Okay. Like literally, because you need to be motivated daily. Yeah. To prioritize your sleep. So that's what I'm saying. Like. Personal, my experience, the one thing to share is if you are not changing your behavior to prioritize sleep, that means you, that means you mentally don't value it and you don't understand it. Right. There's no way you understand like what happens when you get less than five hours of sleep. Right. Once you understand, and Matt Walker covers that in right. his book, Why We Sleep. Once you understand what happens when you start getting less and less sleep, uh -huh. that's what motivated me to be like, obviously the injury was like the clear oh, example. Right. 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 That was, a, that was a big example, but going even, even deeper to, to actually structure my day, you know, the big excuse, I, the, not excuse, the big point I use to, as far as the quick fire, uh, as far as uh, clients, right. is if you're so good at managing your day with everything else, you could use that same discipline to manage your sleep. And if you're not, that means you don't think it's important. Right. And if you don't think it's important, read the book. You're just not educated on it. This one, you have to take your ego out of the... So that, that's my approach. Equation. That's my approach. As far as my, my, my real quick fire signal is the coaching of it as far as getting this person motivated to actually start making changes with right. sleep. So getting them to understand why we need sleep is literally how I would approach it first. Right. That, that's my uh, quick fire... Perfect. I love it. I love it. Yeah. All right, we're going to pass this along to Mr. Dre. What do you think uh, about uh, having quality of sleep? How can we... Uh, convince our clients. How can you uh, stick to the program? I know you went over programming in, in, in your school career. Right. So what do you think you would apply? Give us a quick rapid fire, one to two minutes of uh, how we can help the community out there understand the significance of good sleep hygiene. Uh, I would say uh, try and, like I said, I would say programming again. Right. Uh, uh, more discipline. Just stick. Just be disciplined. It's hard. It's hard for me. I'm not saying I'm perfect, right? But I have a program and just be be very disciplined. I think I think that's the best thing I can uh, give out there for everyone worldwide. It's just have more discipline. Find your schedule. Schedule up. Okay, I'm going to bed. You're going to tell yourself I'm going to go to bed before. Let's just say 12. 12 is better than 2 a.m. and waking up at 6 a.m. Right before 12 a.m. I'm going to be asleep. Right. So I would say that sticking to it. Find a pro or whatever. You know what? Find something that you know you're going to stick to. Don't try to make something already. You know what? As soon as I get home, I'm going to sleep at 9 p.m. Right. Only this guy probably can <laughs> probably do something like that. I'm just saying. But y'all just naturally goes to bed early, right? So um, I would say uh, be try and be very strict, very uh, um, um, disciplined, right? So I, I would go with that one. Just discipline. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I would say perfect. I mean, it goes to the three points that we talked about earlier, right? So the first, the, the first point was uh, why do we sleep? Uh, what is your sleep assessment? So that's what Nick was talking about. And then the third point was uh, the discipline. What is your protocol? What is your plan? And the second one uh, was your preparation. How do you prepare yourself? Now I think about the environment. What is your environment that you're in to sleep? Is there a lot of noise where you're at? Uh, do you have blackout curtains so the light comes in? Did you just cook some spicy meal that might have taste good, right? But it's going to affect your nose. Do you have great smell? So making sure that you have the sleep quality and learn why you sleep, why is it important, understanding how you prepare yourself, prepare your environment to make sure you can carry out a good night's sleep, and then also have the discipline to actually follow through with that program. Those are three actual steps to success of finding your quality and understanding why you do it, making sure you're preparing yourself, give yourself a great environment to carry out that great sleep, and then finally going into that protocol, that program, and then stamping it down to stay disciplined to that. So, I love this, guys. Remember, you are always given the choice every single day to either heal or destroy your body. We ask you to please choose wisely. Remember, subscribe, comment, like, pass along, share this with your viewing community. Um, let's get into it.